A new study coming out of the University of Amsterdam says that human intelligence is on the decline, pointing out that Westerners have lost a shocking 14 IQ points since the Victorian era. If that were true, why is this the first I'm hearing about it? My apologies if the beginning of this video caused any confusion to the point where you may have had to stop and go, wait, wasn't this yesterday's video? Is she recycling her apples? But them's the jokes. So anyway, I just got back from seeing Star Trek Into the Darkness, and it was really good. I watched it in the darkness. Now I'll just apologize really quickly because this video is really going to suck. I have to throw it together. It's after 10 o'clock. It's 10.20 now, actually, since I started this. I actually had to work today, which I don't usually, but that's my own damn fault for agreeing to be salaried. And then I had to do my house frow chores, my house frow duties. And then we went and saw Star Trek because I couldn't resist, even though I knew I had to get in a vlog. So I have no one to blame but myself. But I bit off more apple than I can chew, and now I'm going to chew it. <laughs> Oh yeah, we were talking about Star Trek. Go see it. Even if there's been hype, you will enjoy it. I thought it was great. It was edge of your seat fantastic. And you didn't even have to be a Star Trek fan, but it certainly helped and didn't disappoint if you were. There were uh, moments of surprises, twists, turns, and it really delivered. That's a word that's overused, but it really did. You felt that you really got enjoyment out of it. At least you in this scenario is me. And now a moment of shameless parental bragging is so unlike me to do. But if you notice in the credits, after J.J. Abrams, there were three names, and one of them was Damon Lindelof. And that is a friend of J.J.'s who wrote a show called Lost. And how he got that job was through a little script that had been passed around from studio to studio um, that everybody liked and to the point where he got the job writing for Lost because of this little script. And then he did a little play of it, and then he made it a short. He actually officially went ahead and cast it uh, with people like Lainey Kazan and, and had this little short called Ali Klublerstorf versus the Nazis. And I know you don't want to spell that, so I'll put a link below. And it stars a little boy, Ali, who fights the Nazis with his time machine. And that little boy is my son, Zach. And that's how Damon Lindelof told J.J., if you're filming Super 8 and you need kids, I know one you should meet. And so that's how Zach met J.J. Abrams and was put in Super 8. Bragging over. So in other colossal news, tomorrow Netflix is releasing Season 4 of Arrested Development. And I don't know if you're Arrested Development fans, but people who are, like myself and my family, are pretty jazzed about it. And sometime when I haven't met my bragging quota, I'll have to tell you about how I actually watched Arrested Development with Jason Bateman and got live commentary. Well, I just told you. But I'll tell you again. It'll come up. So on another topic, there are bound to be some really interesting videos coming out from creationists now that this new report has come out about ancient water. Apparently, scientists use a technique to, uh, by, let's see, it's as they concluded by using this technique, they measure how many isotopes of noble gases had built up in this water that's a mile and a half under the Earth's surface. And by measuring these isotopes, they were able to gather that this water is 1 billion to 2.6 billion years old. And notice when these uh, results come out, it's never, you know, of course the creationists could be right and maybe we're wrong. About no. Science doesn't bother itself about creationists the way YouTube has to endure them. Because when it, in the face of the truth, in the face of what really is to be discovered, I don't think anybody takes them seriously. So what do you think about that? And let me know if you see anybody out there saying, what? That's ridiculous. You know the usual suspect. So to review, somehow they know people who were a lot older and had table runners on their head were smarter than the rest of us. Go see Star Trek. I'm really tired. The world is really, really old. And celebrities have kissed my face. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, godless particles.